Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another update and a quick insight. Uh, today they have just announced a new release of iClone, uh, iClone 8.31 and Character Creator 4.31. And the reason I'm excited about this is because we're able to, um, It's much. they've provided a much easier way to take our body mockup from Wanda Studio and use it inside of our uh, iClone and Character Creator. So this AI mockup that you get from your project after you've processed it right here, you download that and now there's a faster way that uh, is you know, makes it so much easier for us to be able to use it in iClone. And I'm gonna walk you through it. I created a tutorial before, but this is a faster way. I hope it can be of help to you, okay? So let me go back to iClone over here. You can see the mockup file was applied to multiple characters. You know, model yeah, this one. This one is uh, from Sketchfab. The one on the left hand side, the two on the right hand side are actor core characters, and the center one is the motion dummy. Okay, so the way it works is you go to character creator. I have this uh, character uh, set up over here. Is an actor core character, and we're going to use this as, as a starting point. Okay, to so download your mockup. So I have this one right here, which is the dancing one that we've just seen. And uh, simply drag and drop it. And this works both in iClone 8.31 and going forward, and also Character Creator 4.31. So you make sure you update your, car your iClone and your Character Creator. And let me go back real quick here. So make sure that uh, you have um, iClone 8.31 in character creator 4.31 it's very very important that you do that and you can always find your updates under the update section right here in the reallusion hub and you can always refresh if you don't see anything so that it you can see it will update and show you what needs to be updated so when you're done then just drag and drop this uh, mock-up onto the character and, and until it's highlighted then in the motion profile drop down and then scroll down after the P and you, it's right under Pixcap. cup, it's called Wanda Studio, okay? And deselect the root bone over here. And you can also deselect auto-generate to perform list. So what happens is if you keep this selected, it's gonna automatically save this mockup into a folder under the custom folder. And I'll show you where it puts it. But if you don't want it to save it, then you can deselect that. And I'm gonna leave it selected so you get a chance to see where it's gonna put it, okay? And everything else stays the same. You don't need a T-pause for this one. And you can actually see where the motion folder it's gonna put. It's gonna be in animation, motion, external motion under your custom folder over here. Uh, click convert all. Now, something to keep in mind, you see over here on the right-hand side where foot contact and hand contact is enabled. So when uh, Wonder Studio mockup comes in, it the the like the root is gonna be like on the ground. So if you have foot contact and hand contact enabled, you're gonna see it look like it's distorted, but it's not really. You see what I mean? I'm gonna leave them on here so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. So click convert all, and depending on the speed of your computer, this might go really really fast or it might take a, a while. <laughs> so it's see it's almost there. Uh, on my machine, it takes about maybe like two minutes. Okay, so this is what I was talking about, foot contact and hand contact. So if you disable uh, foot contact, boom. So now the hip, the feet are brought to the ground and then also hand contact. So if we play back and you can see how it has placed the character, like right, like if I do control G, you can see where the character has been placed, okay? But I can move the character up like so. And then you can enable foot contact and hand contact again, because you need those to be able to get. Okay, now we can play back. <laughs> All right, I was trying to give it some music background, so the sense of what it is. So this motion right now has been saved because we had that profile part enabled, uh, selected. So if I go to my custom tab over here, 
and go to motion, browse to motion over here and go to external motion, there it is. So now you can apply this on any character inside of iClone and inside of our character creator 4, right? So let me also show you how this works in iClone because it's pretty much the same. The good thing is that when you are in CC uh, Character Creator 4, you have way more tools for animation over here, uh, like setting up the facial profile, if your character can support that, that you don't have in iClone. But you can also, when you're done here, just click on Send to iClone, and it will send the character over there. But let's go to iClone so you can see how it's done. So I'm going to press Control 7 to get out of full screen. Let's rewind over here. And I'm going to add a character. Uh, let's see, let's go to my models over here. Let's go to actor, character. Let's see, maybe. Yeah, let's actually use this as a kind of a, like a starting point. Okay, so I will click on this. And it's going to be really, really tall. <laughs> and actually, he has no textures, but that's, actually, let's do this. Let's bring in this one that has textures. And let's move it over here. All right, and we're going to do the same thing. Go bring in our mockup over here, drop it on the character, uh, drop, look for Wonder Studio profile over there, deselect this, the root over here, and we don't need to auto generate because we already saved the animation, but if you want to, it will put it over there in the same place. Okay. In click convert all and you can also change this from 60 or 30. Click convert and again give it give it time. It's retargeting the animation. All right. So now it has put it way down just the same way like we encountered. So if we play back, you can actually see the animation there. So it this is gonna work on any of your new Wonder Studio mockup. So for you, those of you who had asked me, like, you know, is there a better way? <laughs> or is it, because some people were encountering where distortions were happening with their Wonder Studio mockup files. And I'm saying that uh, now there's a better way to be able to bring this mockup data over here into Character Creator 4, right? And also inside of uh, iClone. So I hope this was helpful, guys. And as you're working on your Wonder Studio, you know, mockup files, know that there's now a much better way that we can actually bring mockup files into iClon and into Cara Creator 4, which makes it so much easier for us to build scenes around them and create shots for, you know, Facebook, for YouTube, for Instagram, for TikTok. <laughs> I hope those of you who are watching this in the future, I hope to, all these are still there because of the point where they want. Okay. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, as always, dare to dream big, never give up on your dream. And please stay safe. And please, you may we continue to use these technologies to tell our stories. It can be overwhelming. But uh, it's also important to look up and see what is on the horizon. That's what I'm, I'm always trying to do is to find tools that can help us, you know, tell our stories in a more efficient way, more convincing way. And uh, Wonder Studio is amazing, uh, but it does have, you'd still need to clean up a little bit of the mock-up, but at least it gives you a starting point, at least 80% of the work is done. And one thing that I noticed is the, the mock-up is actually geared towards the the viewport or the perspective of the camera in which it was shot so that's why sometimes when you're like trying to look at the mock-up like from the side you can actually see like it's offsetting back and forth and it's not lined up like correctly like we would expect a normal <laughs> mock-up <laughs> all right thank you so much guys as always uh, much love bye for now and i'll continue to pray for you all